What we're gonna do right here is go back, 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 back. way back, back into time. Hi, my name is Dora and I used to work as a 3D lab technician. Let's take a look at the job description. Basically a lot of words to describe anything and everything related to the 3D printing machines themselves and the parts that came out of them. Our lab had some of the coolest industrial grade 3D printers from Stratasys including the Fortis 900 MC, a large form factor FDM machine, as well as the F370 which was capable of doing Dirin, a nylon filament, as well as TPU and ABS carbon fiber. The recently acquired Origin 1 by Stratasys, their first resin 3D printer, as well as a metal powder bed based system. This is Editing Dora coming to you live with better context on the metal machine I'm talking about. The model was called the M2 Kuzin. It was a dual laser at 400 watts. The build volume wasn't anything special. Usually powder bed fusion machines don't have very large build volumes because of the nature of the process. And this machine was able to 3D print in metal. And stainless steel has a variety of different applications when it comes to tooling, injection molding, robotics, as well as hypersonics and and aerospace. We primarily did jigs, locating tools, as well as detailed manifolds. This machine leverages the DMLM additive process which stands for direct metal laser melting. This was a crazy opportunity to have as a co-op student considering 3D printing up until the point that I got this job was honestly just a hobby. When the pandemic hit and lockdown was a thing, I bought my first Ender 3 version 1 and the rest is history. That printer and the hobby as a whole soon became not only something I like to do for fun, but also part of my undergrad research and then became my work shortly after, which is crazy to think how 3D printing is so full circle for me. So I'm happy to share a day in my life at my old job as a 3D technician. I have to keep remembering to look here and not here. Okay, I'll, I'll get it eventually. It might take me like 10 videos, but I'll get it eventually.